Okay, this is probably going to be a useless video unless you have one of these ready-made RC receivers and you want to get the RSSI for a video diversity project uh, such as building your own diversity controller or maybe you just want to connect to a BevRC video diversity controller but whatever you need the RSSI and I'm just going to show you where it is so what you do is you take out four screws around the perimeter of the case here take the cover off and then you can just go ahead and unplug this cable right here like that take off this nut that holds the antenna jack on okay once you get the nut and washer off then just remove the receiver pack here and the pin that you're looking for I can show you what the inside looks like right there but you don't really need to take that cover off because I'm going to show you where the RSSI pin is it's actually right I'm going to put this little yellow wire on it right here it's actually right there that is your RSSI pin now this is going to put out a signal between 5 volts and ground or zero so if you got good RSSI 100 percent you'll have 5 volts and if you have none it'll be down near zero so you can run that pin out to your diversity controller the idea is if you have two of these receivers uh, the diversity controller will decide which one has the better signal and use that for your video so that means you could have say a patch antenna on one and that's good for uh, long range but as your plane might come by overhead the patch antenna may lose signal because it's not aimed at it and you could have say a clover leaf antenna on the other receiver and when that picks up a better signal the diversity controller using the RSSI feeds will decide that it's going to switch to the uh, other receiver so that's all just wanted to show you where it was so you don't have to waste all that time trying to find it if you have one of these ready-made RC uh, 1.3 gigahertz receivers. So here's how it works. I have my uh, multimeter hooked up to that pin. Here's the yellow wire I showed you and I have it hooked into the multimeter reading the 5 volts. The other wire is on ground here from the multimeter on the frame. So right now I've got the 5 volts because I'm receiving the signal but if I come over here and unplug my transmitter, my video transmitter right here watch what happens to the signal. I'll just place the camera right here there's your voltage. Now I'm going to unplug the transmitter. Now see the RSSI drop down? Now we're going to plug the transmitter back in and the receiver should pick up signal and the RSSI will come back up to 5 volts. That's it for now. Bye bye.